Hello, welcome back to Game Trip. This is Juna and Barry. And Barry. And we're gonna play Kirby because is this your favorite game? This is my all time favorite game. Yeah, this is her favorite game and one of my favorite games too. Because I just had this I had this when I was a kid and I thought it was awesome. It was the very first video game I ever played, actually. What? Seriously? Yeah. How did you do that? Were you just like, I'm going to play a video game today? Um, I got gifted an N64 from somebody, and it was the first video game console I had ever had, and it was just kind of, I've been a Nintendo stan since. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. I had the Super Nintendo, which wasn't as magical, honestly. I mean, it is. People are going to get mad at me if I say that. Uh. <laughs> no, yeah, we know how to use the copy ability. Yeah. Is everyone in the audience familiar with Kirby? He sucks. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's just this cute little blob of goodness. He just eats her. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> <laughs> the crystal shards. You like blue meth too? <laughs> this is Breaking Bad. It's just, just Breaking Bad. Like, we make better meth together! <laughs> the, the, the sky's the limit. Let's cook. <laughs> you go first. Me? Yeah. Yes! Don't skimp on the crystals. I swear I know how to use a controller. It's okay, it's not the natural one. Um, but the triggers are just the buttons, you know? Nice! Bow and arrow. I knew it. Because, I, you know what, I, I, I spoiled it. I actually played this a minute ago for a minute. But only for a minute. No, come on. There we go. Oh, that's so satisfying. Everything's so pretty and happy. You know, it's just like... It, it's a feel-good. It's, it's just straight dopamine. Yeah, it makes you feel nice. Now, I really like Kirby, uh... Which one is it? It's, uh... It's on the Super Nintendo. It's, like, you can beat it in, like, ten minutes. It's very short, but it's a complete acid trip the entire time. What? Watch out for that guy. Watch out for that little SpongeBob. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, die. Full health. See, I didn't know what a maximum tomato was. I knew those from Super Smash Brothers. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I had no idea. Good job, you beat that boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanna be... Bumper. To let go of it. Yeah! Ah! Combo attack! I'm gonna spit you at you. Nice. So my first experience with Kirby was on the Game Boy, and uh... God, what was it called? Was it just Kirby's Dreamland? Was it? I just... think so, yeah, because they just did Kirby's Return to Dreamland. It was really hard to tell what the powers were without color on the original Game Boy. Oh yeah. So they just all looked like weird abilities to me, and I didn't really understand a lot of them. And it was very hard, and I would always lose my powers. So I spent most of the game just, like, using the little puff spit that oh, he yeah. does, you know? And then, uh... His little poof! Poof! <gasps> oh no, a waddle -dee. Yep, he's addicted. See, that's the meth demon. He follows you around, and he, he reminds you that you need more. Oh no! And he's like, get me more crystal! I love plot plots that evolve without words. Exactly. Kirby can 
have a whole storyline without saying a single word. <laughs> no, don't pick me <laughs> up! <laughs> no consent! <laughs> oh! He squished me! This guy thinks he's Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's gonna kill me. No, you, you got it. You got it. There you go. Is that all the crystals? No, oh, that's all the crystals for that level. There are three of them. Uh, but I know you have to go back sometimes, right, to get one? Sometimes you have to go back to get one after you get a power that's not available in the level you are in. That sucks. I love it. It, it really makes it so you have to replay the game over and over again and find new things. Oh, no, you do the jump. You gotta do the jump. What do I want? Ooh, what is it? What are the cards? Are the cards something cool? The cards are pieces to a collectible puzzle. I like it. I'm going for cards. You're going for cards? Yeah. Hi. Bye! Oh, I love this level. Oh, I'm gonna start it off by going this way. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. One extra star. How do you like one extra star? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> missiles, this one's one of the cheapest ones. They're just homing missiles. <laughs> no stars? Well, I mean, what do they do? You get stars and they do things. I'm not 100% sure what they do, I just know that they... Oh, when your star meter fills all the way up, you get a light. Well, I like that. <laughs> I feel like the American government right now. <laughs> Woo. <clears throat> I really like the backgrounds too. It kind of reminds me of Paper Mario. Exactly, and the music. The music's some of my favorite. Did you ever get to play Paper Mario? I did not. He's made of paper. He's two-dimensional. Anyway. It's like when they made Kirby out of yarn. Yeah, yeah, Nintendo's really good at, like, throwing in, like, weird gimmicks <coughs> that are really creative, and they don't know if they're gonna work. And sometimes they- oh. Oh, you wanted the electricity guy, because then you could combine him inside and make the refrigerator. <gasps> oh, I forgot the refrigerator. What does it do? It just spits out- well. Come on. I- Ah, uh, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, you know what? It's not that bad. Actually, Especially useful for these ones. Yeah, that's why they had it in the room. That's also a Nintendo thing. Whatever you need, they're gonna put it in the room that you need it in. You know? Exactly. And, and they're gonna be like, hey... They go. want you to win. Oh, it's it's electricity plus coal. What does that do? Oh, the that's fridge. That's the fridge. That makes sense, because you, you need to plug your refrigerator in. But what is bomb? Ah! ah. You, can go you back. son of a bitch. I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna swear as much during the Kirby one. I mean, what if kids are watching this? <laughs> you know, kids like Kirby and they want to see Kirby, their best friend. Yeah, but do they want to see Kirby from 2000? Maybe. I've already talked about meth like 13 times. So, yeah, we, uh, we, we have established our audience. But just as a disclosure, don't do. Don't, don't do meth. Don't do meth. So just stay away from anything that accelerates your dopamine beyond reasonable levels. If you go down, there's a shard. Ah! <laughs> that was not how to do that, but... <laughs> do I get the shard still? I don't know if you get the shard still. There's only one way to find out. Jump again? Yes. Oh no. Go on without me, Twaddle D. So if you jump off the front, you can go down and then come back up on the back. Okay. Oh. It's gone. It's, it's not gone. there anymore. Woo! Okay, so I got the shard. You it, got the shard. Hey, some sacrifices need to be made. Mmm. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. There we go. I made up for the life I lost, and then another life. And then... Oh. I don't need the tomato. I don't have any powers, though. 
Oh. Ah. Gotta spit shine this one. There you go. Halitosis. Gingivitis. Funyan breath. Woo! Crystal! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the artist girl. Yeah. She's gonna die. I remember thinking she was cool. What does she do? She paints monsters and they come to life. Yeah, she paints monsters and they come to life. Um, the other thing she does is in like later levels, she'll give you hints, like color hints to bigger puzzles that get you shards. Oh, that's cool. And what happens when you get all the shards? When you get all the shards, you win the game. Oh, is that how you win the game? That's how you win. Does that mean we have to get all the shards? Well, that's how you, like, win-win the game. You can complete the game without the shards, but you don't win the game without all the shards. Okay, I see. Well, then we gotta get all the shards. Maybe not all on screen. Usually when I'm, like, doing, like, extra collectible stuff that I missed, I'll just do that on my own time. Am I- am I hurting her? No. Nope. No, no, yeah, she's running. Oh my god, it's a dick. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I remember these guys. Wait, these guys are from Mario. He's gonna get ice cube you. But it... Oh, good job. <laughs> I'm trying to be fancy about it. Oh. Damn it! Ah! Who are you? Neo from the Matrix? Yeah, she's pissed. I destroyed her art. Nah, you gotta get the eye. Get a job, hippie! <laughs> oh, these are like from the old Game Boy game. These monsters. Yeah, it's it's just gonna be me, Neo. What do I do to it? It drops oh. eyes. Yeah, it's just like the one from... Ah! Bye. Watch out! Sucker. Watch out! <laughs> Damn it. He's immune to air. We've got one more. Oh, really? Her. Oh, shit! You killed her. It's right into her. And you got all the shards. Did I? I think you got all the shards. I think there's like three per level. Okay, cool. Fuck yeah, yeah, Twaddle D. I don't remember his name. It's like Doodle D or. Deedle D. Deedle D? I think it's Deedle D. Deedle D, okay. Because Waddle D is the big penguin, I believe. Yeah, I was combining, combining it with like Tweedle. Okay, okay. Tweedle D, Tweedle Dum. Yeah. Okay. Hi! Fuck! You got a yellow star Ooh. worth exactly one point. One star. It's all you. This game makes me happy because every time we do a level, it's actual progress. It's very direct progress. A lot of the games I've been playing now have been like, win it, fail a lot, or like it's an adventure that's really confusing, you know? It's nice to get back to the to the clear cut achievables. Uh oh. I need life. That's cause that's my fault. How dare with you. But hey, you know, I'm sure there's some. Oh, oh there's some. Backhanded! Cruel and unusual! You were just... Uh, anyway, yeah, they, they they got you from behind. That was... <laughs> that was just me. I saw, I saw it happening, too. I wanted to say something. I was like, no! But I was... It was too late. Oh! What you got there? Oh, that one's fun! I mean, it's kind of hard to die if you're just an exploding firework. This is one of my favorites. 
Yeah, that one's really good. Do you know what my favorite one is? It's... I think it's the sword in the bomb, and they're exploding shuriken. Oh, yeah. And they're just really cool. Oh, those are spiky guys. I don't like those guys. I remember that I hate them. They got the stab stabs. I remember now that I hate them. This game may not be as easy as I remember it being. Oh, whoa. Look out for those bugs. At some point, you can grab them and use them to fight. Wait, what? The bugs? Yeah. I don't remember anything about this game. I must have played it a billion times, though. You can also use the little umbrella guys, the little orange umbrella guys. Oh yeah, I remember them somewhat. You can use them to float down high heights. It's just making me realize how long it's been since I've actually played Kirby. It's been so long. I've been playing Elden Ring, which doesn't make me feel as good inside. No, it it doesn't tend to have that effect. Like, I, you know, I love the Dark Souls series and stuff, but it's it's pretty bleak all the time. Oh, uh, it happened again! again. Kirby's gonna have brain damage from being hit in the back of the head too many times. How patriotic of you. What's in those holes? Oh, that's where we're headed. Oh. But I had to go get the sandwich Yeah, first. you need your sandwich. Kirby gets hungry and can't just live off. Okay, nope, now this that's... this isn't the power I need. Green is like the sword or the spike or something. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to get that one right now. But later... Hey, that was nice. She gets much nicer as the game goes on. Yeah, that was... She, she, she really radically shifted from hating us to giving us an extra life. She went from trying to take a life to giving a life. Got that one. Come on, Kirby, jump. Oh, this is, this is cool. Nintendo loves their glowy little stars. this level. Did I tell you about the toy box killer? No. So, my co-workers were listening to this serial killer podcast at work, and my manager wanted to show us the most gruesome, horrible pedophile story he could find. So he just played it at work, and uh, I'm not gonna go into super huge detail, but this guy had built a a torture chamber in like Nevada that he was ca it's always in Nevada. He was capturing people in, and then he would sit him down, strip him naked, and be like, "Welcome to your torture chamber. I'm your host, Phil Donahue." You know, what? I'm never going. I'm not going that far. I'm not going to name a name. I might have to bleep that out. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I hate making edits for myself. Anyway. But, um... Now you... you anyway, let's focus on DDD. What a pushover, DDD! Oh, he's about to throw... He's about to throw up. It's, it's like he's not doing well. Oh, he's asleep! I forget. He gets power from being asleep. Oh, that's horrifying. <gasps> he ate me. <gasps> Woohoo! Good job. <laughs> he looks dead. I just want your crystal, man. He I just care for the crystal. He looks dead. I think you killed DDD this time. Oh, no, he's okay. Just a little drunk. Yeah, just a little drunk. jump off the roof. <laughs> it's all over! 
existential crisis. <laughs> oh, come on. That meat looks good. That tomato looks... Uh, What's a red one? Like, five stars. <laughs> oh, you get to go into the final level with one life. Oh, it's okay. But you have a power, at least. I'm really good at fighting this guy. Wait. Woo! Uh, what's this guy's name? The, the uh, Willie Tim po Tim Bob Tree Tree Man? Um, Whomping? No, that's from Harry Potter. Now he's gonna throw. His all name is out. George. Is it George? No. Okay. Okay, now you gotta blast those because those are the only way to get near him. No, I don't like that. So you don't have any direct contact with them. Avoid the apples. Okay, now get a spike, get a spike, get a spike! Fire is your ultimate weakness. Fire and bombs, that's the forest's ultimate weakness. Yeah, he does not do good with fire ones. Ah! And you did it! Screw nature, we're out of here. <laughs> Kirby, out! And then it'll tell us on the map... I think it'll tell us how many crystals we got out of all of them. I, I think, think we only missed one, yeah, only if that, I'm right. We only missed that green one. So we, we'll just go back in. We'll go back and get that off screen. And uh, then we'll, we'll just have a good start with the crystals in the first world. Because this is the end. This is the end of the episode. That's all there was. Go back and see how many crystals we got. Okay. Oh, no. No, no. So we got that one. We missed one there. We got those, and we got those. Yeah, we're just missing that green I'm one. I'm just gonna draw something here. Can't. <laughs> um. Well, let's just take a peek. Maybe do one level. Here, you do it. Still dying. With your one life. Still have my powers though. Yeah, you still got the fireworks. Cactus, classic Nintendo. Okay, I'm telling you, dude, they have a process. They always put a desert or something as their second level. Mm-hmm. They, they all follow, like, the same little rubric. But it's super satisfying. Like, they've tapped into some sort of childhood brain center, you know? It always goes desert. It always goes, like, happy-go-lucky. Then it goes desert. Then it goes... Caves or something, or... Lava. And then you get to, like, a mechanical place or something. Yep. And then... No, you go water, and then... Oh, yeah, go. water. Yeah, you gotta have the water in there. I know, you have snow. And, yeah, they gotta do their snow levels. But where's my, uh, slightly arid Sahara representation? In San Francisco. Ah, I see. Grand Theft Auto Five. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Oh, I hate yep. this part. Yum. Oh, is this where the sand raises up and then, uh, and then you have to outrun? Yeah, it. the sand will raise up. <laughs> he doesn't look so hard. He looks squishy. Nice. Nice. I might have this game memorized. That's incredible. I thought I had some games memorized, but by playing them in front of an audience, I realized that I did not. Maybe you'll realize that too. <laughs> okay, this is where things start getting hairy. We're gonna go up here. Oh, it's the giant cactus first. You got it. Cactus is weak against bombs and fire, too. It's, it's a natural enemy. Sweet! Oh. This is the level I hate. You got it. It's just sand. It's just... Oh it's, no, I'm gonna screw myself over. It's like you're at the beach.
Isn't it weird that we make cactuses enemies in games? You yeah, know? I th it's when they're our friends in real life. Well, I mean, they poke us. That's our primary interaction with them as humans. Like, you know, before we started eating them and figured out that, like, you know, they were useful and stuff. <clears throat> but I think that hatred is still there from being poked. Yeah. It's like in our DNA. Remember Waddleby comes through the ceiling here? As soon as you turn your back on them, they don't get. Yeah, they're two-faced. They're all ha yeah. What? Are, you know what? The, yeah, they're all friendly up front, but as soon as you turn around, they start talking shit on you to all their friends. Exactly. They're like half the people I went to middle school with. Ooh, what's that guy? He's an icy boy. Fabulous. Wee. Bravo. All right. <clears throat> Next time on game trip, it'll be me and Barry again, and we'll we'll finish the asteroid world. Good night. Good night. <laughs>